another video. This is Fahad here. We left off last time with a couple of ideas about the Euro USD market, and I want to update you on those on that on those ideas. Last time, when we were talking about the rebound from this level, we did say that we didn't have enough momentum to actually bounce off this level in a big manner, and we didn't just gain enough traction. And we also ended up saying that there will be eventually an inside bar, and there can be an inside bar. What turned out is that there was a significant uptrend. Um, I didn't expect that, and I didn't trade that. Um, to be honest with you, I tried to put a trade in, then I forgot, and I fell asleep, and then I never tried it. Uh, the trade actually, uh, the, the market actually went way higher to test the original level that we were trending on in the first blog. And as you can see right here, let me zoom in a little into the 4 hour chart and show you guys what happened. Now, I did draw this trend line over here to represent uh, a level of resistance. This actually goes all the way back till here. This is the level of resistance that we were looking at the last time when we were trying to uh, develop an ideology about where this market can move further. It actually did end up bouncing off this level. Um, technically, it should have had some kind of a resistance at this point because there was another ex existing level at at this level. And we did see a slight bit of a downtrend over here, but then it ended up going, breaking through that trend, and, and it ended up going all the way up to the initial level of uh, one. Uh, 6262, all right, 6262, 6, so the 6200s or the 6260s. Let's call it 6200s. Okay, so what is our future perception about this market? Well, first of all, before I say anything, I would like to say that this video is completely for entertainment and educational purposes. I am in no way advising you officially or advising you to go ahead and place this trade. It's completely upon you to follow what I say over here or get an idea from it and I'm not responsible. Well, technically I'm not responsible for any losses that you may incur, okay? And I'm just saying this as a formality. Uh, we are all in this together. And we're trying to find out the best way to deal with this market. And that's that's what this, this channel is about. Uh, trying to do it together in a way that benefits all of us. Uh, keeps me motivated and uh, keeps you guys uh, uh, entertained or uh, in, in the flow with what I'm thinking. So, yeah. So what we, what I can see forward is that we have a very high level of resistance. All right, the downtrend has been broken. Okay, uh, the downtrend is no more. Not no more. When I say no more, it can very well downtrend once again, create an inside bar all the way down, and uh, and cover up all the gains as it opens on Monday. The market is closed right now, as you can see over here, and let me and it's closed because uh, well, that's the times. The market on the UTC time, the market, or if you're living in the United States as I am, uh, the market closes on Friday evening and it opens on the Sunday evening. Uh, there is an hour. There's a gap of one hour. Like it's it closes like 5 p.m. and opens at like four. It closes at 6 p.m. or something and opens at 5 p.m. Sunday. So do check the market time zones for whatever time zone you are in and when it opens for you. Uh, but that's the standard time for the United States. Um, yeah, so what we are looking at is that we have a level over here which this market can very well test. I will wait for this market. Let me go into the one hour chart and show you guys what I'm waiting for. As you can see, there is quite a, quite a bit of resistance on this level in our 6200s. So we'll try to see if this market can test the 6200s and turn its, turn back on its heels and run back down. We will be looking for some kind of a some kind of a down some kind of a strength to sell into. We'll be looking for a bearish candle, or we'll be looking for a bearish inside bar setup. And what I what I personally feel is that there will be a bit of consolidation over here before it actually starts moving back downwards. Uh, there will technically should be a little bit of an uptrend. Till it reaches the point of resistance or it reaches the roof of 6200s and while it's and when it starts trending backwards we have a couple of resistance points that can go through okay now um, the uptrend has officially resumed 
it can very well be um, it can very well be a strength for the downtrend to continue downwards but we can see as we zoom out a little bit we can see on the four hour chart that we are pretty much above the downtrend and we are following the initial uptrend but not in the same way I cannot call this the same uptrend because it's 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 a very different uh, strategy that it's a very different path the market has taken and uh, it was unusual it was a pretty significant we have seen unusual things happen in this market before in the last couple of days but this was also unusual and it was uh, clearly warranted because we had a very significant level over here and we predicted that would move up personally I was predicting a move up till at least this point uh, gain to like gain 200 points and then try to test backwards and then eventually end up going higher or consolidating and if you can see over here we had an inside bar and a bearish candle and a lot of people over here even if they were um, price action traders who were looking at the candlesticks may have shorted it so today's video is about how to not lose your money in this market I had a couple of questions from my friends we were talking about it and one of the friends actually came up to me and asked me um, that should I start trading into Forex or futures or stocks and what mindset do you need? And I ended up giving him an answer and I'm going to share that with you guys over here as well. Uh, you need the experience first of all. You need to be in the market and doing all this stuff. And for that you need to venture into it. And when I say venture into it, you need to start paper trading. Uh, think, of his, think of this as a strategy ground, as a mathematical chart. Okay, start following the trends and try to predict as many things as possible. Do it over and over again, a hundred times a day, um, in, in, in the entire year, like 30 days a month and 12 months a year, okay? Keep doing it again and again until you develop a very familiar relation with the market. The familiarity with the market is very important. Uh, if you're not familiar with the market, the market will play you. It's always there to play you. You cannot trust the market. You cannot trust any trends. You need to focus on the scale of the perception. Focus on the trends. Uh, focus on the resistance levels, the previously tested levels of resistance and support. And also find uh, very good signals of and try to learn price action signals. You, you must go ahead and first of all learn about the candlesticks, how price action signals work. You can go to babypips.com. I will, I will put the links below. Um, you can go to other Forex forums or generally price action trading forums and try to see what you can learn from there and keep learning as you go and keep applying it. I believe this is the easiest way you can do something worthwhile. And this is the most worthwhile thing. This is the most worthwhile thing to do in life, all right? The market is always open uh, 24 hours, five days. That's a lot. Uh, it's completely flexible to your timings if you're in college if you're a student if you're in job it's completely flexible to your timing you can come back and do it you can make perceptions it's it's a very strategy based plan it's more like a war strategy or something and it's, it's really fun and it's really engaging when you do it the right way the other thing that uh, i also told my friends which i really stressed upon was the emotion and the, the emotions and the patience all right, the market doesn't care how you feel about it, okay? The market doesn't care if you have lost money recently or if you have made money recently. Market only does, uh, the market only does what it's supposed to do, all right? And uh, you and there are a lot of players, at least in the foreign exchange market, there are a lot of players, and uh, no one person can change how the market changes, all right? The mar Forex has taught me a lot of life lessons, and Forex teaches you, and foreign currencies, futures, and commodities, all these things, they teach you a discipline about life, that life would not always go the way you want, but you can always, always benefit from it if you have the right mindset. Okay, then there's the problem about confidence and underconfidence. You need to be confident enough that when you put the trade in, you leave it. Okay, uh, I put my trades in, I do a very good analysis, I put my trades in, and then I go away for a few hours. I let it play its course, okay? If I'm over there watching the chart, I'll go crazy, okay? I'll just start fearing stuff and then I'll take bad decisions. I have the fear factor and the underconfidence in yourself is a huge blow to your account, okay? It's a huge blow in general to your life, but it's also a bigger blow to your account when you're doing any kind of trading, okay? Okay, so that's put aside. And then you also need to see that if you have the experience, if you have the experience already and you have been doing this stuff, 
Then what you need to look into is that are you comfortable with the charts? Like when you open the 4 hour chart, do the trades scream at you? Alright, does the market say, alright, I'm here and this is the play that's about to go on, trade me. Alright, if you're someone, and that's what I exactly said to one of my best friends in campus, across, uh, at campus, alright. I told him that if you're someone who I give a candlestick chart to and he is like scrambling around to find a resistance level or a support level and he is considering every two pin bars with uh, with a similar looking tail as across the same level as a resistance level. If you can't find a resistance level on a 4 hour chart and then link it back to a daily chart, that's a very easy example. Like this is the setting, I'm setting a simple uh, gauge. If you can't scale your resistance level all right so now we have battery life <laughs> all right so if you if you can scale yourself back to uh the daily chart and you're scrambling and you're really worried about where the resistance level are as well i'm gonna say that maybe you are um, a, a bull in the china closet for trading right and dangerous to be around trading. so what you need to do is that you need to sit back relax sharpen your um, pencils and do do a lot of practice okay before you come into this market that's all the advice I'm going to give you because I have lost a significant amount of money I have lost so much money that I would have bought myself a very very nice car <laughs> with all the money that I've lost in this market but you know it was completely worth it uh, that's the reason uh, I'm doing these videos today because I have lost so much and you lose some, you win some, you lose some, right? So, ain't that true about everything in life, huh? Okay, so with that being said, this all, if you don't have the necessary experience, it's easily solvable, right? There's paper trading, there is a lot of books on this, there's uh, price action courses out there, there are incredible amount of free resources that I'll link in the description below, let's go check them out. Uh, try to put in diligent effort and it's not difficult all right now now let's go over how people would have lost look we, we did very successful in all these videos all right and I'm making these videos which means that if some of you are watching it then maybe one day you will have enough trust in me to actually follow uh, my trade signals uh, in a non-official way obviously I'm not uh, asking you to follow this but if you want to Get some insight out of what I say. Well, that's completely fine, right? Okay, okay. So let's go over how people would have lost money over this. Okay. You see this trend? It's a down trend. Okay. A lot of the people in the market, and I'm talking about seventy percent of the people. I can put ten people from my econ major at college in a room, and I can show them this chart, and they will be obviously looking at a line chart or a candlestick chart and they will see this downward trend and they would immediately and I say immediately they would immediately just tell you that it's gonna go way more down as it has such a huge downturn they will not care about any resistance levels okay and the moment they do that and people did that okay people did that a lot over here the moment they do that the market will move up most of them will have small accounts with high leverage and not a good stop loss. At this point, they would blow their accounts out. When the market actually starts to uh, develop this kind of a behavior, they will get out of the market. Okay, they will get underconfident. They will be looking at the screens all the time. They will get out of the market over here. After these inside bars, the market will shoot back up. Many of them will actually short it again in the with the ideology that it may move downwards again market will shoot back up blow all of them out do the exact same procedure again I mean it's it's there to play you okay <laughs> it's just being run by people's perceptions and emotions and emotions don't count in the battleground emotions don't count like uh, my grandfather was a military guy and he always told me he always told me one thing he said that when you're on ground uh, when you're in combat you leave your emotions back home, okay? You don't operate on emotions. You operate on strategy. And that's what you need to do. Foreign exchange, futures, stocks is the closest you will get to doing strategic work in your life. Like pure strategic work, which is out of your control, right in front of you. 
and the results are immediate okay in a job in a 95 job your results will not be immediate here you you mess up your trade is gone okay you'll blow out your stop loss and you're done there is no going back uh other than that on the daily chart we would have seen a similar trend a lot of people will think that this is moving downward and it will continue downwards they will not care about the trends or the resistance levels or any any form of indicator and they will just uh, play by emotions play by perception and that's gambling that's betting and you don't bet on this market another question that i got from one of my friends is that how did you learn these trends did you go by price action or were you ever using indicator? i actually wrote down this question so i'm reading it off did you use price action trading as a starting point or did you use some kind of indicators now i used a lot of indicators i used a lot of indicators sma ema all kinds of moving averages i have experimented with them i have combined them i have combined them together put them upside down i've tried everything i've tried throwing them out of the window as well nothing works because back trending doesn't really work in stock trading or in futures trading or in forex trading Back training or back tracing usually works in mathematical models, but um, I don't know if it should be working in in the forex model. And technically, it doesn't work. And I tried a lot of it. And another question that he asked was that: Have you ever used uh, automated algorithms? Well, my answer to that is no. When I started out, I didn't have enough money to buy algorithms, and. Uh, from what I've heard on the internet, they don't really work, and I haven't ventured myself into it. I will look into it, try to see what I can find about it, but uh, I don't really think it work. I think pure price action trading is the way to go. And then finally he asked that, I, we had this conversation already, so then he asked that, um, did, did you develop a price action strategy from the indicator yep i did that because when i was doing the indicator stuff i learned a lot about the market okay how the market moves because the indicators were really back trending for me and giving me a perspective of trend and support levels so i learned a lot of the price action trading strategy myself before i actually even knew that it's called price action trading strategy okay and uh, the first time i actually remember that the bearish candle the first time i saw a bearish candle i was like okay I didn't know it was called a bearish candle. All I know is that there, if there's a long tail, that means the momentum has been lost and there can, there has been, there, there, it's, it's about to drop a beat, you know? It's more like trap music. Like, I, I love Aerocord Surface and how at like around 1 minute and 51 seconds, it just drops the beat harder than, harder than anything I've ever heard. And <laughs> that's pretty much what happens in Forex. Uh, the beat is about to drop at some point and you need to see how much momentum is it's like an elastic band like stretched outwards and it's about to like boom it's about to go away it's about to go off uh, and then you have this uh bearish candle and bam suddenly you're down but either you precisely calculate it or you don't go in late when the graph is overextended and let's talk a little bit more about overextension okay what is overextension what is overextended a lot of people ask me uh, when i was uh discussing this man i need to upgrade my charts okay so or extension is so simply let me find a good example this example you see over here we don't have very strong resistance levels we have a resistance level over here but we also have a resistance level around at this point look at this point and see the trend okay these two bars it formed an inside bar similar to what we were seeing over here when we we're talking on the daily chart it formed an inside bar and then another one okay so if you're if you're going into this market at this point while this candle this four hour candle was closing i would say you're good okay i would say all right go in and then try to do something about it and i would be completely happy with that but if you're going in at this candle not really i don't usually go in at the second candle i I'm always a first timer or I'm not there okay I, I do things one time only and then I get out simple as that even I would probably even get out when this candle ended I wouldn't wait even if I was in the trade and I was making good points on it I wouldn't wait for this candle I would just get out um, why well, well for this reason okay it will consolidate over here it will give you some 
And when you get out of there, it gives you more, it gives you more opportunities to make further points on like uh, on the cyclic trends. If you stay in there, then you are more concerned with how high can it now go. And if you're, God forbid, if you like entered over here, um, well, what can I say? Maybe you don't have, uh, a, you lost a lot of money. Uh, or maybe you didn't lose a lot of money and you had good stop losses and that's the value of a stop loss. Let me put that to the right place. Okay. So what else? Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's the basic questions that I got asked. I answered them. And let's do, uh, yeah, we, let's do a recap. Like we are expecting an upward trend to create some strength and then lose momentum to create a downward bearish candle and then either move downwards from this trend or at least um, test this trend. And if then if you have to move further upwards, we will. Or we can, what we essentially have to do is that we will wait on the sidelines for the future and try to see where this trend goes and because this is such a significant significant trend and test it all the way down to there i would probably wait on the sidelines and try to see where this market goes with this okay and uh before i close this video try not to be a bull in the china closet for the trading it's dangerous okay a lot of things can break and try to keep it safe and do let me know in the comments if you want anything else that I say I, that I that I should say say <laughs> that I should say in the videos and I will definitely include them. Uh, all right, take it easy, guys. Bahad was with you. Bye bye.